I go. Come, come, oh, come closer we, so we can hear it loud. All go through the dungeon, and uh, according to the guide, the Palava Hall was a slave market. But what? Well, that was the second one. Now, the first branding of the captors was done in a town called Asin Manso. Asin Manso is about 45 kilometers away from Cape Coast and that fall directly on the slave route. Now the slave route is not in southern Ghana, it's not starting in southern Ghana. It starts somewhere in northern Ghana. From the north they walk on foot, so we have some big slave markets in the northern part of the country like Yendi, uh, Picoro, and all that coming down to... And that is why the chief, one of the chiefs of Golu, had a defense wall, the Golu defense wall. He tried to protect his people, so he built a wall around the whole village. So we have the Golden Wall. So they walk all the way down from the north. So you can trace the slave route from the north all the way through from the savannah into the middle belt, into the forest area, then down the coast. Now the slave markets are dotted all over the point. And then the last major slave market was Asil Mansu where they select also the best of the best and then also they had their last bar because according to the guy you see how when they get into the dungeons here they are not allowed to bath or do anything they are just kept in the dungeons until the day they are taken out so that's where they had their last bath and also had their first branding that's the first brand they have before they continue all the way either to the Cape Coast or Elmina Dungeon. If you have any questions, do feel free and ask. Yes. So you mentioned that the first place that they were taking um, was, I forgot the name, but that's where they were branded before. They, they, they were brought to the castle. Am I right? Yeah. I that was not the first place. I'm saying that when they are oh. captured from the north, from Burkina Faso, oh. all those areas, the slave route is not just in southern Ghana. Right. Start from northern part of the country. It might be from Burkina Faso, from Niger, and then the route. And on that route, there are major slave markets yeah. like Yendi and all those places. Uh -huh. They do the market so they keep selecting the strongest of the strongest oh, right. they, they, yeah they keep so if you are weak they leave you to your faith you are weak they leave you to your faith and then they do that until finally when you are able to survive and you get all the way to Asin Mansu Asin Mansu is also another market slave market and a river why we call the Don Konsu now this Don Konsu simply means slave river because the people, I told you that names in Ghana evolve with it. So the people decide to call that river Don Konsu, meaning where they buy the slave or slave river. So when they get there, they have their last bath and then they have, they do another selection. So after they buy them, that is where they get their first brand mark. Now the West, the, 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 Trading uh, people have their symbols, or the slave traders have their symbols and others. So in order not for them to mix up, they have their first branding. Okay. Then they mark them to depend on where they want to take them, whether to Almina or to uh, okay. Okay. Cape Coast, okay. or to maybe for Amsterdam or for this and all that. They, mm -hmm. That's where they send them. Okay. Yeah, so that's where they are, they are branded. So when they get finally to the Cape Coast Castle, they go to the Palava Hall, as we've seen, then they do another, mm -hmm. so maybe I'm no longer interested in continuing to maintain somebody, so I need to sell again. Mm -hmm. So they come in, 
and then those who are interested, maybe I don't want to pay the shipment and all that, so I need to. So the resale, so they get they get another rebranding. So if you are maybe brother with maybe B, now somebody buy you, they cancel that, and they they give you another symbol. They are showing that you are this. Any more questions? What I want to experience? All right, so family, that's been a very emotional day as we did a full presentation of the African Holocaust Dungeon Cape Coast, and now we're going to return to One Africa, where we're going to have our naming ceremony at seven o'clock tonight. So, for now, we're just going to have some lunch and relax and connect back. The journey continues.